An object of mass mkg is attached to the center by a massless thread. It makes vertical circles of radius r at constant speed around the center. Draw the free body diagram, write the equation of motion. At the position shown, the following forces act on the mass. The tension, a pulling force, T, is towards the center of the circle, to the left. The gravitational force, W, equals mass times acceleration due to gravity is vertically down. Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. You watch, you play. You pass, you learn. Isolate the non-zero masses. Define directions, positive x, negative x, positive y, negative y. If you can, break all forces into x and y components, vertical and horizontal components. So basically you draw all forces acting on this isolated mass. Indicate the direction of acceleration, if any. So here is our mass, and we know that the gravitational force is definitely going to act vertically down. There is no question about that. Tension is a pulling force. It always pulls away from the object to the left. So the tension force is going to be to the left. And this is our mass. And if you know this much, the game is over. All right, so let's look at this. Gravitational force acts vertically down. Tension acts horizontally to the left. It is to the center. So what is the only force along the horizontal? Tension. And what is the direction of tension? To the center. What is the net force towards the center? It is mv squared over r. Why? Our object is moving in circles. The net force towards the center is equal to m times square of the speed divided by radius r. So t equals mv squared over r. How about this is along the horizontal? How about along the vertical? What do we have? Along the vertical, gravitational force is the only force that you have, and that is equal to mass times acceleration along the vertical. So MAY equals MG, or AY is equal to G, and that is the tangential acceleration. Tangential acceleration, the magnitude of the tangential acceleration at the position shown, it is just your acceleration due to gravity. What about acceleration along the horizontal? That's non-zero. It is to the left towards the center. What is the only force acting towards the center? Tension. So you say tension equals mv squared over r. Why? Whenever an object moves in a circle, there is always a net force towards the center. Or t is equal to mv squared over r. Tension force is the only force to the left towards the center. So you say t is equal to mass times acceleration towards the center. And acceleration towards the center is square of the speed divided by radius. At the side along the vertical, gravitational force is the only force acting vertically down. The equation of motion is mg equals m times acceleration along the vertical. For an object moving in circles, the acceleration towards the center of the circle is called centripetal acceleration. All right. So we have net force by vector sum of components. Net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So net force along the horizontal, x, net force along x equals mass times acceleration along x. Net force along y equals mass times acceleration along y. Forces acting along positive x should be positive. Forces acting along negative x should be negative. Forces acting along positive y should be positive. Forces acting along negative y should be negative. 
the angle between the direction of tension and direction of gravitational force is 90 degrees. Tension does not have a vertical component. Gravitational force does not have a horizontal component. If that is the case, net force along the horizontal, net force along the horizontal equals mass times acceleration along the horizontal. What is the force along the horizontal? It is tension. Is it to the right or to the left? It is to the left. We define positive x as to the right. What should be the sign of the tension? It should be negative t. So you say negative t equals mass times acceleration along the horizontal. Acceleration is towards the center of the circle. So you have acceleration along the horizontal. Ax equals the acceleration towards the center, but it is to the left. And for that reason, we choose negative. So you cancel the negative and we get mass times acceleration towards the center. And don't forget, acceleration towards the center is equal to V squared over R. What about the force along the vertical? That force along the vertical is equal to mass times acceleration along the vertical. What is the only force along the vertical? It is the gravitational force. It is acting down, so it is negative mg. And that is equal to mass times acceleration along the vertical or we get acceleration on the vertical equals negative g. So this is what we call the tangential acceleration. And now you know tangential acceleration and centripetal acceleration. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.